Service Fair, Wolverine Weekend, and Overseas Study Program. Good morning, Belen. I'm Carlos Garcia. And I'm Matthew Cardoso, and today's WBLN starts right now. Belen Jesuit students have worked over 46,000 hours throughout their four years of high school. It's an impressive number, but what's more impressive is the way the time spent has transformed these students and the impact their kindness has made for countless people in need in our community and beyond. And I'm here today to let you guys know the importance of service. I've been serving since I was in seventh grade, and honestly, the importance of service to me is why I have my job today. In seventh grade, I started working in a special needs school. I fell in love with it. I wanted to be a doctor, and here I am with my two babies here. I love them with all my heart, and the reason why I'm doing what I am doing today is because God gave me this beautiful service um, invitation to go and meet these kids and fall in love every day with what I do. Friday, the Community Service Outreach Office held a service fair in the gym. The main goal is to educate our students on the many possibilities that exist to serve in our community. 24 organizations gave presentations to students from 9th to 12th grade. A lot of them have been, oh, I didn't know this existed. So I'm really impressed, really, with the way they've gone around and, and the questions they're asking. It's been really phenomenal. This weekend, the ninth grade class traveled north to Camp Geneva in Fruitland for Wolverine Weekend, a new event created to bond the freshman class together. The weekend event, held by student council, featured activities including spike ball, zip lining, and canoeing. The Overseas Study Program to Israel and Jordan in 2020 will host an information meeting on October 2nd at 7 p.m. in the Koskiwela Hall. All members of the Berlin community of students, family members, and alumni are welcome. Come to the meeting to learn about this magnificent opportunity. Now here's a message from Father Willie encouraging you to join the trip to the Holy Land. For over 25 years, Belen has been hosting the Overseas Study Program, taking Belen students and their families all over the world. But well, we're very excited to announce that this summer, we'll be traveling to the Holy Land and to Jordan. So please join me, our chaplain, Father Christian Science, and our principal, Mr. Jose Roca, for this extraordinary experience that's going to run from June 10th to the 21st. Now, if you want to go, contact information is found on the screen with Mr. Patricio Gonzalez, who's our travel agent. But for more information, you could also contact Mr. Patrick Collins or Mrs. Maria Ines Leañez. So join me in this beautiful experience. I'm looking forward to seeing you. October, Belen Peer Ministry presents the Cardinaire Experience. Regarded as one of the best experiences of sophomore year, at Cardinaire you get a chance to gain close relationships with your friends, strengthen or form your faith, and grow with yourself. Register now with Miss Sosa in F219 or at Campus Ministry. What's up Wolverines? Here are your sports for today. The varsity football team lost to Miami Central 38-14. to The varsity bowling team plays against Gulliver at 3. The 6th grade gold basketball team plays Our Lady of Lords Parish School at 4. The middle school football team plays Westminster at 4. The varsity swimming team goes up against Columbus and Ransom today at 4. Now on to the pros. The Miami Heat held their introductory press conference for Jimmy Butler. Butler stated that he loves the culture here and plans to finish his career with Miami. Man, I'm touch it. I, don't, I don't even think about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm locked in on that. Um, I do get that question a lot, and I tell everybody the same answer. Um, 
we don't know what could have been. We don't. So I leave it at that. I am a, a, a player for the Miami Heat. So that, that, that's what I'm locked in on. The Miami Dolphins lost to Los Angeles Chargers 30-10. to The Miami Marlins defeated the Philadelphia Phillies 4-3. to That's all for your sports. Now back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Andres. That's all your news for today. Thanks for watching this edition of WBLN. Make sure to follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And from everyone here, have a wonderful day. And remember, stay golden, Wolverines.